Welcome to the Strange North channel. Okay, in this video, I'm just gonna give you guys a brief overview on my personal beliefs and opinions on everything to do with the paranormal. When you're talking about paranormal topics, a lot of the things that are being discussed are subjects in which these things aren't necessarily proven. You're talking about haunted locations, the cryptid legends, UFO sightings. These things are still a bit nebulous, and there is a legitimate debate over whether some of these things even exist or not. Obviously, I have some belief in this stuff or else I wouldn't really be interested in these topics. But given the nebulous nature of some of this stuff, I think it's important that you guys know where I stand. And I also think that there are many people out there that share a similar set of beliefs to me. And so I just wanted to let people know where I stand on these topics because I'm largely going to be looking at paranormal topics within Canada. In terms of a general framework as far as how the universe could exist, I personally believe that people have a soul or a spirit that lives on after death somehow. I can't explain how, and I'm not 100% convinced that that is the case. It's just what I tend to believe. This is something that we can't prove one way or the other. I certainly feel within me that this is the case, and there is such a strong tradition in almost every culture around the globe going back millennia that people have a spirit, and this spirit lives on somehow after death. I'm also leaning towards the belief that there are things like angels and demons that exist in our world things that we can't always see, but somehow exist parallel to us. And as of now, this is something that can't be proven one way or the other, but this is just what I believe. Again, most cultures and religions throughout Earth's history have talked about these invisible beings, angels, demons, fairies, jinn. I'm fascinated by these concepts, and I think that it's very possible that these beings could exist. One way that I conceptualize it is I think in terms of electricity. At any given moment, the air is full of information and radio waves and satellite waves that pass right through us and these invisible waves contain a lot of information. And so for many years now I've sort of thought of it in terms of something like electricity. Maybe there are conscious beings that we call angels and demons and things like that that exist parallel to us but that we can't necessarily see. Perhaps there are conscious beings that exist in a form of electricity. They move through us and yet they occupy the same space that we do. And so at least conceptually I'm open to the possibility that things like angels and demons and even fairies and jinn exist. When it comes to haunted locations and ghosts, I'm undecided. I think it's very possible that humans could have a solar spirit and that spirit could live on after death and perhaps be trapped in this world for whatever reason. And so I think it's very possible that some buildings could be haunted, especially after something really bad happens and this causes someone's spirit to stay in that area. Again, this isn't something that can be proven one way or the other. Anyone who's deep into the paranormal as a hobby knows that there is a large collection of very legitimate experiences that people have had and it is very important that people be skeptical but I've just come across so many stories from people that it makes me believe that there might be something to legends of haunted locations. I just think it's very arrogant to discount these people's experiences. Sure, people could be mistaken or delusional or hallucinating or whatever but when you look at the wide variety of experiences out there, some of these experiences just seem to be very believable, incredible. Regardless of whether you believe in ghosts or not, I find it can be very interesting to look at haunted locations within any given city or town because you learn a bit more about that place's history by looking at its haunted locations. Haunted locations are usually in old historic buildings, usually in historic areas of the city. You just learn a little bit more about local history and these stories really add to the folklore and mythology of a given an area and so I really appreciate that aspect of paranormal research. When it comes to cryptid sightings, that's another area I'm really fascinated by. I'm so interested by all these stories of strange creatures from around the world and my mind frame is open to the possibility of things existing that haven't been proven yet. Just because something hasn't been proven doesn't mean it's not true but I understand that there is a healthy debate over these topics. I find the legends and stories of different cryptids fascinating and I just find it really interesting to research them and I find it very fun to talk about them. So there's an entertainment value there for me, but I legitimately think that some of these legends are absolutely true. Certain cryptids that are seen in Canada, like the Bigfoot, have equivalents around the world. There are things similar to the Bigfoot seen in other areas of the world. There is the legendary Almady of Asia, as well as the Yeti or the Abominable Snowman of the Himalayas. And sightings of the Bigfoot have occurred well into the past, and they occur up until present day. And this cryptid in particular has 
been seen so many times in the past around the world and it continues to be seen around the world that I think there legitimately is a creature like that out there that just hasn't been proven to exist yet. And some cryptids are more legends of the past. I'm not saying they exist or they don't exist. It's just that certain creatures of legend have only really been seen in the past and they're not really seen or talked about so much in modern times. And so those ones I'm a little bit more nebulous on. I think maybe they're true, maybe they're not, but there's just a lack of modern sightings and some of these creatures seem to fade away into ancient legend eventually. And again, I have heard and come across so many stories of cryptid sightings that seem very credible and legitimate. And so overall, I am very open to the possibility that people are having experiences where they're seeing creatures that have not been proven to exist. And I don't think that people are always hallucinating, lying, or delusional when they're seeing these things. Another paranormal topic that I haven't done a video on yet on my channel, but I'm going to very soon in the future, is the whole topic of UFOs or UAPs. I pretty much 100% believe that people are truly seeing things in the sky, and they have for many years, that can't be explained. People are seeing things in the sky that are not conventional aircraft, they are not weather balloons or biological creatures. I think this whole topic has really been invigorated uh, substantially in the past 5 or 10 years, especially due to the Pentagon out of the United States recently releasing information that supports the idea that people are really seeing things in the sky that can't be explained. Over the past few years, the Pentagon has released multiple statements to the media and to the public saying, that they generally believe that there are things that are in the sky that are not explained. Legends and stories of these sightings have gone back decades, maybe even hundreds or thousands of years. And if you're into UFO sightings at all, even just as a hobby, you eventually come across a very vast collection of seemingly legitimate and credible sightings. And I don't know what these things could possibly be. Maybe they are super advanced aircraft. Maybe they are manned by intelligent life from another planet or another galaxy. Maybe these things are essentially drone aircraft from a different civilization somewhere out there. Maybe someone's messing with us and they're just holograms. I don't know. All I know is that given the amount of time I've studied UFO sightings around the world, I'm convinced that it's a real thing. And I'm really looking forward to doing some videos on prominent UFO sightings from throughout Canadian history, as well as some of the current research on UFO sightings within the country and some of the organizations that are really taking a serious look at this thing. And another topic that I want to explore on my channel that isn't necessarily paranormal is just mysterious disappearances. I feel that this whole area has really gained traction and popularity recently and so I think that people really want to hear about some of these stories. I've been fascinated by mysterious disappearances for many years and there are a ton of really interesting stories within Canada that I want to share in video form and I'm really looking forward to that. And I just wanted to say I don't think there's anything necessarily paranormal about these weird disappearances. I just wanted to mention that because I'm going to be talking about a lot of those disappearances and while they're mysterious they don't necessarily fall under the umbrella of paranormal. So that was an overview of my mind frame in terms of looking at these topics. I think I've already talked way too long so I'm going to wrap this up. Basically when it comes to paranormal topics I'm fascinated by them and I'm very open to the possibility of things truly existing that have not been proven to exist yet. And I truly believe that people are having legitimate experiences out there that cannot be easily explained by conventional methods yet. And I really want want this channel to be a community where people can discuss and share their own experiences freely in a safe and respectful environment. If you watch this far, thank you very much. I'm very grateful. And if you're interested in watching more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be uploading at least one new video per week. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you next time on the Strange North channel.